Alright, how shall we murderify everyone today? What do you think, staff member? Well, it's kind of rude to ignore me like that. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So I said I was gonna make a big, bad deck for today. <laughs> See, I got two more super energy removals, so I thought it was time to make the deck of destiny, so... <laughs> Got a couple of Psychic Energy for the Psyduck Golduck, as you'll see, and Double Cuddleist for the Dragonair, as you might have guessed, is in here, you'll see. But here, I'll give you the rundown. So, you can swap Trainer cards if you have a Psychic, and Fury Slipes, so that's not part, you know, it's not really why I got the Psyduck in here, it's more for the Golduck. Psyduck is nice, too, with the Psychic Energy, but the Hyper Beam, choose an Energy card and discard it. <laughs> Um, Lapras is kind of the utility thing. You always gotta have some sort of utility for the deck for some versatility. Same with Articuno for the possible freezing and bench attacks and stuff like that. Um, I got Eevee, this version of Eevee, to go with Dark Vaporeon, which has a very similar Whirlpool attack to the Hyper Beam. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the same, <laughs> so we're gonna discard energy cards that way. Notice it's all the evolutions that can only really do the discarding here. Yeah, I think the, they did that because the basics would be a little bit broken. Uh, I decided to experiment with this Dratini because the wrap, I could potentially cause paralysis on turn one as well if I have a uh, double cuddleless energy with it, though the chances are low. But it's nice to have the paralysis later on, like on, say, turn two. That would be kind of nice too, in general. <laughs> So, but I also don't expect to have this in my opening hand, and only in my opening hand is my only basic Pokémon, so... Yeah, uh, Dragonair needs no introduction. Now for the trainers! <laughs> for Energy Removal, for Super, for Professor Oak for the draws, and for Challenge instead of Build to try and mix things up here. Because I'm gonna see if the AI will actually accept my Challenge one of these days. And maybe I can fill up the bench and thin out the deck and stuff like that. They probably won't, because it seems like they never do, but... I'll give it a try. If not, it's it's Bill. You just use Bill instead of Challenge, it's the same result. <laughs> uh, energy Search for the Psychic Energy, or for more deck thinning in general. Just one, because, you know, it's you don't need that much Psychic in general. I was even debating if I should put in the Psychic at all. So, <laughs> it's just kind of, eh, I'll have Energy Search, it's just too psychic. And then I got a bunch of Pokémon Trader for the sake of getting stuff into place as quickly as possible. And that, well, I said I was going to murderify. Let's do it. <laughs> so, well, I was just going to say, this deck is pretty weak against Lightning Critters, so I guess you're going to see that here. Possibly, maybe, but... If they don't have energy, maybe not. <laughs> and I also have Drag uh, Dratini into Dragonair, plus the Articuno as well, hence the whole utility thing. Uh, Lapras, that's alright. I mean, I, I don't have... I mean, I kind of want more than that, but I have Professor Oak, but... You know, I never know what's gonna come of the opening hand. Uh, ooh, um... You know, come to think of it... I bet she's gonna keep trying to power up the Electabuzz. And if I could keep energy removaling that, that would be a kind of kind of a setback to her energy reserves while I'm allowed to uh, stall out with Lapras here, because there's no way she's going to be able to do 80 damage in one attack on turn one. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a couple energy removal here, and maybe we'll do a Confuser Ray this time to see if we can get something set up here very nice. So now Electabuzz is kind of effectively disabled. I don't know if she's going to want to attack, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if she'll want to attack with Electabuzz now. But now, since I got that set up, we can go ahead and energy removal at Eevee, plop another one on Lapras, and I might as well Professor Oak. It's just for one super energy removal and one uh, water energy, but I'm going to get more than that, I'm sure. Let's see if she accepts. Really? Even though you're lacking in bench? Okay. <laughs> as I said, it doesn't seem like they, they ever accept the challenge. And Water Gun. Let's go, go. And end the turn. -oh. So, let's see if she can... Uh, that's, that might stall me a little bit. But, <laughs> not not that much. Uh, especially since I've got the... Wow, I got the energy removal out the wazoo. 
And I might as well go for the Dark Vaporeon to boot. Uh, yeah, Water Gun. It's because it's still confused, so we might as well maximize on the damage. If she wants a potion again, it won't matter because it'll be down to 30 HP, which is Water Gun territory. And, oh, Professor Oak. Okay, now we're going to be playing it to four prize cards, I can tell you already. <laughs> uh, Cubone. That may be a little bit more helpful because maybe she's just low on lightning energy? Maybe? I wouldn't count on it, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and what a go. I'm, I'm not, not coin flipping, no, I don't even want to look at coins. No. No. <laughs> and Eevee is in the fray. It is fluffy. It is cute. Oh, it evolved! <laughs> I could potentially have the power to, well, maybe not. I'm gonna say have the power to knock out the Lapras, but no. That lightning flash, though, might cause a bit of an I bit of issue because of the, uh, it's similar to Magmar's smokescreen. Uh-huh. <laughs> but what we're gonna do here... ...is power up Dark Vaporeon, so we can remove one energy off of Dark Vaporeon. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, you see... Oh, didn't accept the challenge. So, yeah, you see how this deck works here. Um... What do you say? We actually put Dragonair back in the deck for Dratini, because, you know, it's neutral in the uh, uh, damage and the like, and then we're gonna go Water Gun, I think. Oh, <laughs> I said think, that's why I said I think. Uh, if she has a Lightning, I'm kind of boned, well Lapras is boned, I should say. Um, put that on there. Do I really even need to Gold Tuck? I got, I got a probably Dragonair coming, I energy removal the poop out of her. Maybe I'll just Professor Oak. <laughs> Just maximize our speed. Uh, yeah, she's got nothing at the moment. Will she accept it then? No! <laughs> she wouldn't even accept it for deck thinning. Um, I could try to freeze it, just to make sure my Lapis will be okay. Uh, nope, I tried. <laughs> uh, how about we go... Oh, that's right. Just how about we go... Put that on the Psyduck. But alas, oh, yeah, I didn't even put, <laughs> I didn't even put the side that can play. I just, oh, jeez, I'm an idiot. All right, so now that that's in play, I can evolve it straight to Gold Duck on the next turn and get that powered up. If a Lightning Energy comes, uh, again, Lapras is bone, but, <laughs> uh, but I think we're pretty decent right now, I would say. And yeah, I'm gonna go Gold Duck and finish off the Dark Jolteon. So as you can see, with the energy removal tactics, even with just the Soul Lapras here, she's not getting many attacks through, even with the lightning critters. So that's just how energy removal works. Uh, challenge. Of course not. <laughs> so yeah, it's like Bill, basically. And Golduck. I don't have the uh, uh, dr dra <laughs> Dragonair yet, so I think I'm going to put uh, focus on the Golduck while I dump stuff out of my hand gradually, and just knock out the Pikachu in one fell water gun. Voila! And she's gonna knock out Lapras eventually, I would bet. Or maybe not. Hmm, oh. Nope, she's out of energy. Completely out of energy. Man, this, this is, man, too much energy removal, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I win. <clears throat> So, when I said murderify, I really meant murderify. Well, not literally murder, I mean just destroy their decks. Actually, not literally destroy their decks, I mean beat them in a the game. So, <laughs> Heidi is up next. Let's go, go. Psychic go. And see if our shuffles will work for us. They better work for us. We got so much draw power and so much energy removal. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I actually got it in the opening hand, but I also got it with double colorless energy, so we're, we're good in that regard. And eh, not going first, though. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's got her own Jatini. And this Jatini, if you've ever seen the card, it looks like it's a very soft Jatini, you know, like the art style or something like that. Even though it's a serpent, it looks very, very soft. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap. As per the plan, because she's not gonna do 40 damage on turn 2. With what she's got out, double colorless to Abra, and no evolutions either, so 
I think we are good in that regard. I'm gonna go plop that on there, and I think I'm just gonna go immediately Professor Oaks, because the bench is low, and I could get a Dragonair. <laughs> if I get a Dragonair, or... Nope, there it is! That could be game over right there. Uh, I was gonna say, if I get a Dragonair, uh, that would be pretty nice just for HP in general, but also I'd get more bench Pokémon and stuff like that, so... Alright, all I need is one head. And by the average, I should get one head every time, if you go by the average, but you can always count on me getting two tails every so often, but not two heads, so my average is really 15. <laughs> Although it can't be 15, so it's more like 10. <laughs> Alright, so it did absolutely nothing of the paralysis sort, and, you know, she's kind of low on the uh, energy reserves there. I mean, actually, Pokémon reserves there. I think what I'm going to do is wipe those out, put another one on there, and go for the win, hopefully. I, I don't think I'll get it, because my terrible luck. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Average went down. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, that was my best bet anyway, just in general, to kind of try and prevent paralysis. Because, you know, it could, could be a hindrance to Dragonair and everything like that, so... Ah, uh, well, I guess I should now begin at the Hyper Beam. Now, in this sort of situation, you'd think the AI would accept the challenge, right? Let's see. Did not accept it. <laughs> Don't want basic Pokémon on the bench, okay. So yeah, the challenge is like Bill, at least when it comes to AI opponents. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna be Hyper Beaming now. I don't really have any reason to use anything else. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently in a pretty nice state. Hopefully she won't be able to size shock. Yep, she can size shock. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be heads. Oh, she gets heads. <laughs> of course. Of course. I will get all the tails. She will get all the heads. Although I didn't get... I mean, she didn't get... Uh, she didn't accept it. <laughs> although she would... Uh, although she was... Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> she did it last turn and was a tail, so... yeah. Uh, Lapras, and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Done. <laughs> and... Oh, jeez! Please, no heads! Please, no heads! Yay, we win. <laughs> yeah, with the resistances, she was never gonna get through Dragonair with Abra alone. It was just more of a stalling tactic. I'll just finish her off really quick. There we go. And go on to the next duel. So I'd say this deck is working pretty decently right now, as of, as of so far. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, Ellen is up next with the Eevees of Doom! And I thought she has Jolteon in here too, so that could be an issue with my deck, but... She can't drop it on turn one. Speaking of Eevee... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave the Articudo in my hand because I can cause paralysis if I drop it after that, possibly. I don't know if she... Oh, mm -hmm. uh, oof. That Electabuzz could be Doom. I don't see Challenge. Did not accept it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to be laughing at that all day and all night. And Quick Attack. Let's see, we get out of that. Yeah! Very nice. That means this Eevee is KO'd no matter what next turn. Because uh, it always does 10 damage. So that's pretty nice. So she's. I was going to say, yeah, she's probably going to go and power up something else on the side. Challenge will be good. Did not accept it. That'll be like that all day and all night. Put that out on the bench. And I'll save that, I guess. Um... I, I think I really should wipe out the, the a single energy card on Electabuzz, because otherwise it could Thunder Punch. Well, it will probably Thunder Punch. Uh, but I don't want to mess up my energy for future Dragonair. So maybe I'll just quick attack and let her get a Thunder Punch in, I suppose. I mean, yeah, it's it'd be more ideal to keep the Eevee around for the Dark Vaporeon, but I think the, dra the Dragonair would be a little bit more effective overall because it's not uh, double damage. Although neither is Eevee, but, you know, <laughs> it would be if it evolved, and the whole point of the evolutions are for the energy removal, after all. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna try to cause paralysis to it. Please, heads. Aww. 
sad face. And in any case, I'm gonna do Pokemon Trader. Psyduck is the only one into the promised Dragonair. Put that in play and quick attack, hopefully with a heads. Oh. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, when the Dragonair hits the field, things will turn around. Well, that's actually not, I'm not in a bad spot or anything like that, but man, two heads in a row, of course. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> so, you know, I wonder if I shouldn't just go for <laughs> double colorless energy, you know, with like uh, uh, Professor Up, but I already used it for the Eevee, so the chances of me getting one is low. Yeah, I do want a super energy removal, you know? I probably should do that, and plop that in play. I mean, I know I'm not going to get the attack no matter what now that I did that, but I don't know if I'm getting the double colorless, but I really want to get rid of those energy cards and get some more, uh, super, uh, I did get it! <laughs> and get some more, uh, energy removal if possible. Didn't accept it, and the water Psyduck. Um... Yeah, on top of Jolteon, she's got Electabuzz, I forgot to mention that as well. But anyway, uh... I guess I could try to go for another Dragonair. And... Yeah, I'll call it a turn. The worst she could do now is 10 plus Pluralysis, which may or may not happen. But she probably will, of course she will. <laughs> it's three heads in a row! <laughs> um... So then I might as well... I was gonna say, probably focus on the other Dragonair common, possibly if I can get another Dragonair. Um. Can I trade some? Maybe trade the Dratini. See if I get another Dragonair. Hopefully, it's not in the prize cards. Four from the bottom. <laughs> Alright, plop that in play and call it a turn. So, she'll probably start trying the Thunder Punch now, and as a result of that, I'll be able to get a Taxon. And the difference, though, is that she's probably going to get at lots of heads, and I'm probably going to get lots of tails. Heck yeah! <laughs> Although, I wonder if I should even bother with that, because... I don't know, I don't know. I don't have much faith in the slam. Well, it got some damage. <laughs> so, yeah. I wasn't able to get to the Hyper Beam level of powering up based on that she just got a better board start than I did, but we're not doing bad or anything like that. No damage to herself, of course, because, you know, why Why would she do that? It's never gonna get Tails. And I'm <laughs> gonna plop that on there and go for the Slam, but will I be able to get something else powered up in the meantime? Maybe. I just need one Heads, though. That would be very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that is a Retaliation KO, if i ever seen one. So now with Magmar here, it could be Poison time, or it could be Infinite Smokescreen time. She'll probably get heads. Yeah, of course. There's no doubt in my mind that the opponent is gonna get heads. <laughs> At least she did a Smokescreen, though, so... What I might want to do is go for the slams and then power up something else on the side because she's got a lot of fire stuff. So if I can get Dark Vaporeon or uh, Golduck, preferably Golduck probably, going there, I think will be good. So I think I'll just let her knock out Dragonair sometime a lot. Whoa! Whoa, whoa what, is, what is this? No, 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 no. I don't get two heads with slam. No, 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 not when it's in such a good position like that. That's impossible. <laughs> oh, he, she retreated. And the flame tail for the knockouts, because remember, poison's gonna do ten more. And there it is. And then we go over to Golduck, as expected, or you probably expected. Plop that on there. Oh, maybe I should have went for the Psychic Energy Energy Search, because I could have Psy Shocked. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, shoot, I even had that in hand. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. I hope I, hope I didn't lose the game here by, by messing that up. 
<laughs> so that's kind of a critical move. And it's Charmeleon. Uh, slash. Instead of Flamethrower? Interesting. I thought he would. Because, yeah, that's. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go pop that on there. And yeah, she can't do 40 with anything, and I'm just gonna energy removal stuff, so. Hyper Beam. Wipe that out. And call it a turn. At least I hope she won't be able to. Uh, do 40 to Golduck. Yeah, she can't do that much to Eevee. I mean, she can't do that much to me with Eevee. Uh, yeah, she's just kind of filling up on energy cards. I mean, uh, damage counters, excuse me. I'll get Articuno set up, because maybe I can finish her off by hitting something on the bench with Articuno. I only need three energy cards to do that, so... Uh, we shall see if I get them. But in the meantime... Oops, she's in a bill. <laughs> Hopefully, Eevee will not evolve to something that is deadly to my Golduck. And, oh, she attached it to the other Eevee. Uh, and she's using fire energy, and that means she's not aiming for a Jolteon. That's good to know. Water. Just need one more for the Articuno. And Hyper Beam this Eevee for the KO. Hopefully, she won't be able to uh, knock something out because of my flub. <laughs> And tackle. All right. So we're still still good. Still don't have a. Uh... Should remove that for sure. But uh, wait, why did I do? Oh, that was another dumb move. I wanted that. <laughs> do it on something else because I want to be hyper. Be. <laughs> why did I think Eevee? Well, well. Hopefully she won't be able to switch, and then we just win. You know. Oh! <laughs> Man! Man, you're just messing with me now. Okay, should I just go for the Articuno win? I'm thinking I should. Discard that Articuno attack, Ice Breath. Uh, if it hits something, and chances are it'll hit something that's already damaged, I'll win. Yep. So, there we go. Yeah, that was like a double fail on my part with that game, but I still won. The waste of energy removal, dang it. Alright. Pika Pika time with Avery's craziness. Let's go go. Although, no special requirements as we were forced to do last time, so we've got our deck in full power ish. It depends on what we draw. Remember, any deck in brick. Uh, in fact, his deck is kind of an example of that, because it's that three times in a row. Because, <laughs> yeah, um,. If you get just a basic Pokemon, just a whole bunch of energy, you know, like nothing... Well, this is kind of a bricky situation in on itself, but yeah. Uh, it just, just happens, you know? I'm gonna go plop those in play. And I'll save those in case I want to trade stuff. Preferably, I mean, you know, trade the Dratini. But, ah. <laughs> uh, Pidgey's up first. And since my reserves are low... Well, I gotta hope for some draw power, or just a lot of energy cards turn after turn. And uh, there could be Porion. Should I go for that, or should I just start... I think I should just start Laprasing, because the Lapras has a lot of HP, so I can use it for stalling more than anything. Uh, full heal. Oh, he, he better save that full heal, because I could cause confusion with the uh, Confuse Ray, assuming I get an energy card, and I didn't. Uh... How about we go... Wait, wait. Um... Do I want to trade right now? I don't think I do. Because <laughs> this is like everything, you know, it's got... If I evolve into it, it's going to take too much energy, and I don't have uh, much in my hand right now. Because I'm sort of bricking, so... I just kind of keep nicking away with Lapras as it is. It is water. So now we're going to go for the Confuser, eh? Oh. <clears throat> at, next, at the very least, next turn I can use Water Gun to knock out the Pidgey. But it's still a thing of that, uh... Ooh! And that could be a problem. Oh, wait, what? Uh... Why would you go to Flying Pikachu? Because of the weakness that I have to... But... That just doesn't make sense. Well, anyway, I got Professor Oak now, so... It's a mad... I mean, it was just a matter of time. I think I'm actually gonna... Pokemon Trader, that Dratini for Dragonair right away as well, since I'm dumping everything out. Where is it? There it is. 
Thunk. And draw seven. Do <laughs> you imagine if this was in Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> uh, challenge. Did not accept, of course. So it's Bill. And... And... I don't know who I should energy removal here. That's double colorless on the Spiral, right? Wait, no, 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 he didn't use double colorless on that, so... I should energy removal the Fero, and then... Oof, what am I doing? <laughs> Super energy removal the Spiro. Oh, it is a double colorless, okay. Huh. What? what did he th I thought he put the full heal in it. Or was it on this... Uh, must have been this one. I know. No. Hmm. Yeah, it must have been the first one that I hit that... Yeah, and I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. I need to pay more attention if I'm gonna be a pro. You know that, right? You know that, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna energy search for a psychic. Remember I said I had this in in case I needed it, and I may very well need the Psy Shock of Golduck here. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that, and if Flying Pikachu does double damage to Lapras, it's alright, because I could take two of those. So we should be- ooh, out of energy! Good, good, that's exactly what my deck is designed to do. So, <laughs> um, I guess we should just outright Professor Oak then, even though I, I have an energy removal there, which is free to use, but I'm more- I think I'd be more benefited by going into Professor Oak and getting some other stuff established here. Uh, yeah. Let's go for the Confuse Ray, just in case. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna get Tails all day and all night again. I only had that one good slam. And that's all... all I'm capable of. <laughs> uh, challenge. Not gonna accept, right? Nah. <laughs> uh, EV Water. No, that reminds me. If, if it's just gonna play like Bill, if you wanted to have lots of draw power, add 4 Bill along with this. <laughs> For Bill, for Challenge, for Professor Oak. Um, I guess... I should focus on the Goldock, I would say, because it's already partly powered up. And then Water Gun to finish off the Flying Pikachu. I don't have my energy removal now, but that's okay. I'll probably get another one in a few turns. I have eight copies. <laughs> and a little peck. And then I will probably go into a little Confuse Ray. <laughs> Actually, maybe I shouldn't. I'll do Challenge first, didn't accept. Because, yeah, the uh, uh, Water Gun can knock it out in two turns, while Confuse Ray will always do 10 damage, so... There we go. How about that? And you do your thing. Whatever you can do. Oh, switch into the Pika. Pika number two. So I guess I should Water Gun that as well. Uh... Should probably see if I can get another dragon air going, but as of right now, I just got a water cut. <laughs> we're, we're good for now, I think. Thanks to uh, the power of energy removal. Uh, full heal energy may very well. Ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say, it may very well not last too long, and I was right about that. Um, what do you want to do here? Is probably wipe out that. No, maybe not. Because it's not going to do much damage. Yeah, I'll just water gun. <laughs> just hold on to the super energy removal because maybe he's planning on something like putting two energy on the same critter. Perhaps. Uh, why did you. You know, I'm going to knock out that Fero before you're able to get the agility in, right? So you should be powering out on the bench. Anyway, draw two. <laughs> and. Dragonair. What a gun. Because, <laughs> yeah, well, actually, no, 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 I, I miscalculated. It'll be able to get one attack in if he's able to power it up. And that's assuming he has energy enough to do so, and he doesn't. So, yeah. That was sort of a lost cause. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, you can. Maybe he was anticipating Dark Muck to prevent retreats. I doubt it, though, because I'm using a water deck, but. <laughs> Oh, he didn't even retreat. Okay. I'm gonna go into that and get the Hyper Beam going. And call it a turn. I don't think I'm gonna Professor Oak again because we're getting low on cards. 
And I think I got a pretty good board established anyway, so Professor Oaks will just accumulate in my hand for now. And that energy removal may very well be worthy of wiping out that Pidgey's energy. I would say yes, in case of a quick attack. And... Hmm. Hmm. I don't have much of a use for the double colorless. I mean, yeah, I could put it on Dark Vaporeon for the bite, which may, may, I guess is my best use, but I mean, I already have my Dragonair powered up, so the double colorless is kind of moot aside from that in a way. Oh, and you might be wondering why I'm not using Polyrath with its 40 damage Whirlpool and energy removal, namely because it takes 4 energy and it's a stage 2 Pokémon, so that's a lot of resources, as opposed to Dragonair, which I can double colorless energy, those four. Although Whirlpool, you can also double colorless energy as well, but... Uh, it, it's just the thing of this, the stage 2 issue is in effect and everything like that, so it's... Yeah! <laughs> and... Pidgey? Recycle? So yeah, I would have probably been able to quick attack then, had I not energy removal that. I probably shouldn't even bother... Ooh! <laughs> I was gonna say, I probably shouldn't bother removing that uh, energy, but now that I got this... Oh. <laughs> well, how about I try this? Can I get heads here? No! <laughs> now he's probably gonna quick attack and knock out my poor Lapras. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't have energy, okay. But yeah, I did the, the math there, and then it's one Confuse Ray, one Water Gun, and that's the prize card. Voila! And zero. Pika, Pika, Sadness. Uh, I really get 20 off for the uh, Lapras here. Wait, I... Oh, that's right, it's not... Yeah. It, this one's got Mirror Move. It's not the other one that's 1020. My bad. So that means I win. <laughs> Woo! And I'll, he also doesn't have uh, bench Pokemon as well. So, yeah. The last opponent will be the toughest of all, kinda. Villasini! Let's a go go! And he, since he doesn't have any lightning decks, I think we're gonna be pretty decent here, actually. But he does have a very well structured series of four decks, whichever one he's using. Hopefully, it's not the. Rest in peace stick again. <laughs> um, I guess Eevee, I suppose. Pop that and save the Articuno in the hand. Remember, always save that Articuno, because if you play it on the first turn, you won't be able to utilize its paralysis move. I don't think I'll want to use the paralysis move for a little while if he's using Kangaskhan. Okay, so he's using the fighting deck. So, Dark Machamp could possibly be flinging around my critter all day and all night. Maybe? If it can get the energy to do so. But I actually need uh, uh, energy and energy removal myself, so... Ooh, Professor Oak, hello. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I'll save that. Actually, should I set up Articuno? Like, I was thinking I don't need to use it against Kangaskhan, because it's not going to be attacking for a while. But if I can get Kangaskhan... I mean, excuse me, if I can get Articuno powered up against his fighting Pokémon, and Articuno having resistance to fighting, that would be pretty nice. Although it's going to take a while for him to even get to that point, so I think I'm just going to go for the Tail Whip instead. <laughs> And call it a turn. As a matter of fact, I might very well just go straight into Dark Vaporeon. And then just energy removal everything. And fetch. And yeah, uh, currently Eevee is double damage threatened. But... Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna plop that on there. And yeah, I'm gonna save it. Just quick attack. Maybe I'll be able to get three heads in a row. I wouldn't count on it, but maybe I can. <laughs> I mean, if the opponent can get it, I sure can. No, I can't. <laughs> oh wow, he just had uh, two failed Bill's teleporters. That may put a damper on his plans. And... Oh, there's their Vaporeon! 
Alright, so we're gonna put that in play. And then I might as well put Articuno in play. I'm not sure, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And put that there. So yeah, I just want to get that for the fighting Pokémon in the future, and then I think we're going to be pretty good. And now... Yeah, I'll Professor Oak. I, I mean, it, it seems kind of wasteful to get rid of the Super Energy Removal, but I think what we'll get out of it will be quite beneficial to our side of the field. I have a feeling. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I don't have the Double Color List to go with it, and I don't also don't have any energy myself, but I think we're actually pretty decently stacked, I would say. Uh, I'm actually gonna remove that just really quick. And instead of Whirlpool, I'm gonna bite, because I'm gonna try and keep the pressure on him instead of that. And, and yeah, he's gonna draw a card with Fetch, but that's not really... It probably won't make as much of a difference as if I try and knock out the Kangaskhan faster. Probably. I mean, he's probably just gonna put energy on it anyway, and yeah. Alright, so as promised, we're gonna try for that Articuno, and finish off the Kangaskhan. I went, I went with my probability guesses here, <laughs> based on the bites, I let you have a card, don't disappoint me by wiping out my whole side of the field. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to just switch on over to uh, Articuno now, actually, ooh, Articuno now, actually. And didn't accept the challenge as usual. Psychic and Psyduck. Ooh, that's actually a good combo. And uh, yeah, I'll hold on to that and Whirlpool that, because then I can just bite on the next turn. Assuming that he uh, doesn't put... I mean, if he puts an energy card on Machop, that would be a waste. Is it this Machop, or is, the, or is it the other Machop? Okay, it's the other Machop. <laughs> See, the one I was talking about was his active Machop. And Articuno? So, no, wait a second. I should probably just dump everything out in, gen <laughs> in general. Uh, maybe I should have two Lapras out, because they're always nice to have on hand. And... Uh, I guess I'll Professor Oak. Just keep up the pressure, basically. See if I can wipe him out before he gets a fully established field. And alas, alas, I use my energy card, but that'll be okay, because I'm still using Bite regardless. Um, at this point, uh, I also wonder if, again, if I should swap out to the... Ah, oh, challenge again. <laughs> if I should swap out to the Articuno because of the said resistances, just to ensure that I can keep on sweeping on. But at the same time, the Whirlpool is working, and it's still... He's got 50 HP per critter, so... I think I'm gonna go... Just... Yeah, Whirlpool that energy. And then I'll be able to do 30 with Dragonair, maybe, assuming I can get the coin flip. One... Just one coin flip. I right, he'll probably get one energy card, though. Mm, Defender... That'll, that'll work. That's not an energy card. Um, let's see what we could do here. Oh, didn't I get Golduck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really see uh, the reason to do anything else other than to bite. So I can get 10 damage in there through the Defender, so it'll help a little bit, but not that much. Uh, maybe I could... Fury Swipes at Psyduck if I had it still out in play with to get the 20. Nah, nah, we're just gonna focus on... ...the actual field that we have and not the other stuff that we once had. <laughs> and Clefairy to the bench. Turn is done. So yeah, there is a severe lack of energy on his side of the field, which I will gladly take advantage of. I'm gonna put that on Dragonair, and... Bite. Because it'll do the most amount of damage. Just in case. He is able to knock out... Oh, he is. And then I'll have to swap into something else. Probably said Golduck. Because the Golduck's got the 20 Hyper Beam. And... I should also probably get that going. Hyper Beam. There we go. <laughs> 
Yeah, why would I side shock now and I can use the hyper beam? <laughs> And, you know, it does a little bit more damage, wipes out the energy. All I didn't really need to wipe out the energy it was more about wiping out the Pokémon more than anything. You're not gonna accept? Nah, of course not. So yeah, I might as well just put Challenge in all the time then. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> challenge plus Bill. Get that Hyper Beam going, and... There we go. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should switch over to Dragonair then. To try and get the knockout on Clefairy, because we're... Because I can tr maybe accelerate his loss. Perhaps, maybe. And Dragonair is a very similar Pokemon to Golduck in terms of what it can do, so. Just kind of reverse positions here and hopefully get one head. There we go. That is what we call a sneaky KO. And maybe we can get Clefairy KO'd with uh, two head flips. Although I wouldn't count on it. Everything he's got is 50 HP, so it's. Like, just out of range of what I can do. Uh, but that's alright, because we are going to get it two heads right now. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get it one head. Oh, come on! <laughs> Astonishing! And probably going to go for a little... I was going to say some, some little lullaby attack, I would think, of something. Yeah, like the, the swinging fingers. Some Something to disable my Dragonair, basically, but anyway. Two heads. <laughs> well, now he's gonna switch. Because <laughs> he has to switch, basically. And he's gonna he to switch to Machop. This makes me wonder if I now I should go for that Articuno. Because I might be able to hit the Clefairy. But Dragonair's got such a high retreat cost, and they got so nicely established. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for it. <laughs> and... Yeah, I don't really see... Any point to using anything else? So it's Ice Breath, hopefully the Clefairy, and it missed. <laughs> My luck. My luck. I don't know why you're even switching. I mean, I, I guess maybe because AI thinks AI needs to put something that's not... that can actually damage Articuno. Maybe? But it doesn't really much matter, because, you know, it's an energy-wasting thing. Either one it hits now, it's gonna be a knockout. So he lasted the absolute maximum amount of turns he could have there. <laughs> and victory goes to the energy removal, as you would guess. <laughs> so with the streak at 25, I think I'll head on back over to the other challenge machine. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I talk more about murderifying with this girl... Okay, it's probably going to be more off-camera, but details.